Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly and I'm so glad you're here. I know it's been quite a few days. I've just been really busy. We had the grandkids this weekend and now it's time to get back and get busy. So today we're going to do some recipes and we're going to get going on those. We have had a lot of cold weather here in Arkansas, so it's been kind of a mess. Um, we had snow um, last Sunday evening into Monday, and we had we have a potential of an ice storm. Well, I don't know if I should say ice storm, some ice tonight. Anyways, we are going under a um, advisement for some ice tonight or into the morning tomorrow so i'm praying that we don't get much i'm planning i go to work before all this is supposed to start so i'm going to go on to work and hopefully i'll be able to get home if not i'm going to pack a bag just in case so anyways because i live about 40 minutes from work so that's quite a drive but today we're going to make some apple dumplings i have tons of homemade apple pie filling we put up and we're going to kind of adapt this recipe to the things we have in our pantry and i've wanted to try these for a long time i've never made them i've ate them and they're delicious so we're going to do that today first we're going to i just got one i've got more cans of these but we're just going to use one today we're going to get us out a dish just a nine by thirteen and we are going to put some of our apples in it from our apple pie filling and we're gonna roll them up. So we're gonna get going on that. All we're gonna do is open our, um, these are crescent rolls and I'm gonna get them opened if I can. There we go. And we're going to open this apple pie filling. This is some we canned back in the summer. This was from my son's apple trees. And we are going to try this. I Like I said, I'm adapting it to what I have in my pantry. We're going to spray this pan really good. And I've preheated the oven to 400. All right, I preheated the oven to 400, and what I'm planning on doing here is, you, uh, the recipe calls for like fresh apples, but like I said, we're just gonna use what we have, and I have jars and jars of homemade apple pie filling, so we're gonna wrap an apple in each one of these crescent rolls, or a big glob of apples, just whatever going to kind of wrap them in that and I'm just going to keep doing that until we get all eight of these filled. I love these canned crescent rolls. I love to cook with them. You can make such good little treats with them. And um, I thought I could adjust this one to be a size that was good for Wayne and me instead of making a whole big gob of stuff because it's just him and I now. All of our kids are grown and I don't need to have a bunch of sweets in our house. I just don't. I love sweets. <laughs> That's my problem. So I don't um, need to have the whole gob of sweets in the house. It's, it's just not practical. I'll just sit and eat them. I hear Missy. I'll be glad when it warms up and we can move her to the barn. It's just been bitterly cold here in Arkansas. And we've come too far with this little pig to stop now. All right, now I'm just going to wash my hands. Um, the um, recipe with, I mean, I like the apple pie filling. I still have half a can. I could easily double this or have used a pint of apple pie filling. But we're just going to go ahead and go with this. 
All right, now we'll go to our next step. All right, now we are going to add, make our mixture to pour over the apples. All right, we're going to add a half of a cup of butter. I've got that in my pan here. Now we're going to add three quarters cup of brown sugar to that, and we're going to let those kind of meld together. We're going to add some cinnamon. Let's see here. Actually, because it calls for like nutmeg and all that, we're going to just add a little pumpkin pie spice here. I've got just a dab left from Thanksgiving. We're going to use that instead of adding the cinnamon and nutmeg. We're just going to kind of meld these together. Our oven's up to temp. Once we kind of get this to a little simmer, we're going to pour it over the top of our apples. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. It's just a little sauce, kind of. We also want to add a splash of vanilla to this. I'm going to use a little of our homemade vanilla here. It'll add a wonderful flavor and just kind of mix that around we're kind of at a boil now so i'm going to bring our pan of apple dumplings over on a nice cold day like today this will be a nice dessert to have even with some ice cream this would be fabulous all right I'm going to flip that off, and we're going to dump this over the top of our apples. I'm going to coat each apple dumpling with this yummy sauce here. And now we're going to add 12 ounces of Mountain Dew. And what I have is 16-ounce bottles. So we're going to add about little over half here it is and then we are going to bake this at 400 degrees and we will be back whenever they are done back to missy she is doing good she has grown so fast i'm like blown away how fast this pig has grown she is a mess though we have her in our bathroom and we've done puppy pads and she does use them but she just goes so much it's not enough for it so i bought a litter box and i've tried to litter box train her and she's just not having it but we have talked and we as soon as it's warm enough we're going to put her in the milk room because i have quit milking as cold as it got and as busy as I've been, I just don't have not had time, friends. I have been extremely busy lately. Uh, just between the weather, keeping waters busted, work, uh, grandkids, just life in general, we have just been extremely busy. And I cannot wait to get her to that barn. But we have some more cold weather coming in uh, tonight, early morning, and we're supposed to get a possibility of freezing rain. And I'm, I'm over winter. I, this time of year depresses me and gets me down in the dumps because I can't get outside and enjoy the sunshine and everything. And I am past ready for that. I hate this kind of cold. We, you know, 30s, 40s, that don't bother me too bad. But we have been in the single digits. Uh, one day, I believe it was even negative whenever I went into work. And Arkansas is just not used to those temperatures. We are not set up for long spells of this kind of cold. And it has been 
so depressing <laughs> to say the least and then you know you, it seems like I'm just wore out all the time from the cold I don't know just you know you have to layer up so much to to stay warm enough and then by the time you get done it's like I'm just pooped so I'm praying that next week I know we're supposed to get a lot of rain but it's supposed to be warmer that I can get her moved to the barn because that will make my life so much easier because I'm having to clean that bathroom, mop and scrub it down daily, daily, sometimes multiple times a day, if I'm home multiple times a day. But she's growing good. She is big. She has, um, she's a funny little pig, but I don't want a pig for a house pet. We just brought her in because of the cold temperatures. So we are looking forward to getting her moved to the barn. And you do what you do in these situations. I wouldn't have wanted to lose the last one. I wish I would have pulled them, pulled the last two before she mashed that second one. She only had three. She mashed one, then the next day she mashed another one. I wish I'd have went ahead and just pulled them both then. Because it's kind of easier if there's two because they have someone to play with. She gets bored really easy and... She constantly needs attention, I'll just say that, or she thinks she does. But I'll be glad to have some warmer weather to get her to the barn, because I'm over her being in the house. Now we're going to mix up some dinner rolls. We're going to add two cups of warm water, a half of a cup of sugar, and two heaping tablespoons of yeast. We're going to let that yeast bloom for a few minutes, kind of mix it all together, it and our sugar, and then we're going to let it bloom, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Now we're going to add our sugar here uh, and mix that all together. And after it's bloomed, we'll add some oil, a quarter cup, an egg, and now we will add our flour. We're going to add, start out with six cups of flour. Sometimes you could use up to seven. I kind of like to have a wetter dough. We're also going to remember to add our iodized salt or any salt will, will do because I'm bad about forgetting that. Now we're going to add our six cups of flour and we're going to let the machine do the work for us. We put on our dough hook and we are just going to let that KitchenAid do the work. We're going to mix that all up. It don't take very long. I just put it on and forget it and let it do its thing. And when it's all good and mixed together, We'll go to the next step. Like I said, it doesn't take very long. It, you know, kind of starts out slow, but before you know it, your dough is in a ball. And I love using this to make my homemade rolls and breads. It's just, it saves me so much time. I can do this, walk away, and do something else. See, now it's kind of pulling away from the sides. We know it's done. We're going to spray our bowl, and we're going to add our dough to it. I really don't do anything to it at this point, but let it rise. It's kind of a sticky dough, and that's okay. Now we're going to squeeze 30 muffin holes. This recipe makes 30 rolls. I do a split roll, so I roll up two individual sections and put in each pan. And then we're going to let those double in size again. And once they've doubled in size, we're going to pop those in the oven and bake them until they are golden brown. Once they're done, we're going to pull them out of the oven and butter the tops. These are some delicious, easy hot rolls. I just pulled the apple dumplings out of the oven and they smell and look phenomenal, friends. I can't wait for these to cool to give them a try. Um, these smell like heaven, like an apple pie bacon in the house. Once these cool, I'll give them a taste test and we'll see how they are. All right, I got me a little bite here to try. 
I'm gonna blow it really good because they're still pretty hot. I got a little apple and a little dumpling here. We're gonna see how these turned out. They smell amazing and they were so simple to put together. If you're ever in a hurry, needing something to do for a family get together, this would be a simple, easy recipe. Still pretty hot. Oh, friends, those are amazing. Super easy, super simple to put together. It literally took us just a few minutes and we have a lovely, delicious, somewhat homemade dessert. The only thing that wasn't homemade was the crescent rolls and that's okay. Anyways, friends, thank you for stopping back by our homestead. I'm gonna really try not to have as much time between videos like i said this last week was really rough with the snow and everything trying to keep everything going plus the cold weather just zaps me i'm a warm weather girl <laughs> anyways more than negatives in the teens I, I don't mind the 30s and 40s but this cold weather has just took my energy from me but i'm hoping for warmer weather and i hope you guys have a wonderful week this week and don't get any of this nasty weather coming thank you for stopping back by our homestead please like share and subscribe until next time friends goodbye